issues, but they're just not they're just not uh, enforcing the issues. You look at the U.S. government and you go into a courtroom over some bullshit that doesn't work and they tell you, well, they had a clause on the internet because, uh, you know, they, uh, well, they already saw that, you know, okay. and then they can't really explain it. The only thing that they can do is lay it down for you and look at you and lie to you and look at you like, do you really want to say, do you really want to talk about it? And we're buying it. And we're losing money. What bitch ass thought that the economy would grow that way? Yeah, whoever it was is a, a complete bitch ass. Whoever it was is an individual that is probably sitting on his high and mighty throne rich as a motherfucker while everybody else is going fucking broke. Because our high and honorably justified court system with every reason to be there allows them to get away with it. No, well, civil. You define it and it's don't go to war about the situation. You know, sit down and talk about it. Come to an understanding. But when it comes to person versus corporation, you are now in a situation that in most cases is a losing battle. Say, Prentice, why do you talk about stupid shit? This shit is boring as a motherfucker. Well, go through the shit over and over again and see if you don't want to talk about the shit. Tell every motherfucker that these motherfuckers are continuously fucking up and realize that, hey, <laughs> you ain't the only one going through these fucking problems. Buy some shit, take it home, and have that shit not work right, and then try to take it back and have somebody tell you, well, we had a one-day policy, 24-hour policy, 7-day policy, 14-day policy, and it's okay. Now, a lot of the times, there are some times where it's okay because the customer actually gets the shit and breaks the shit or, you know, does something wrong with the shit and the businesses lose money because the customer can't uh, take care of their shit properly. But I think for the most part, it's not happening that way. Literally, these products are not designed well. Design some shit that does not fit its actual purpose and then sell it. Is that all right? I mean, where does that shit come from? Is that our freedom? I don't know. I think uh, we need to start rethinking some of the things that we're just allowing to happen. Either that or we're going to have a whole society of people that just rob and steal because that's just the next step. It's not like, uh, you know, our cover it up con, you know, I got a fucking piece of shit product to get your money in. You bought it. You know, it doesn't have to be that way. You might as well just stick a motherfucker up and tell him that, give me your money or I'm going to take your fucking life because that's exactly what they're doing. I don't care who argues that it's a difference in reality. You're a fucking reject. You're a fucking retard if you think otherwise. Now keep going through life thinking that it can't happen to you. Simplistically, we can do the research. We can try to find out what this company is about. But we end up not wanting to buy a goddamn thing. Not wanting to spend the money because we don't know. All I got to do is add a bunch of technical terms and if they can't comprehend the shit, well, so what, right? How much research do you have to do per product? How do you know when and when not to spend the money? And then once you spend the money, is it your fault or the company's fault? Or is it the government's fault for allowing this thing in the commerce? You make the decision. Decide our freedom together. Well, let's decide our freedom together. This is Prentice from Cypher Productions Incorporated. I look forward to hearing from you.